Okay, so today I'm going to do another video here. Um, this one is of one of my favorite bikes, one of my all-time favorite bikes, and this is actually um, one of the first Triumphs that I ever owned, um, and it's it's a very special bike. It's a uh, it's a 1974 T140V Triumph Bonneville 750. This was a one-owner bike that I bought from the original owner. Uh, he passed away several years ago. I bought it from his widow. Uh, it had been in storage for years. Bike had, I think when I bought it, it had something like nine or 10,000 miles on it, and it's got 12,124 now. Those are actual miles for this motorcycle. Um, it was a 100% bone stock, everything from the turn signals, airbox. I mean, everything was together when I bought it. Uh, and basically what I did was remove all of that stock mid 70s stuff and put it in a box and kind of completed the bike that you see here. Um, to start from front to back, what I did, I, I like the 74 because it's a juice brake front and it's a drum brake rear and it's the five speed with the right side shift. I, I really like that combination. I like the way this bike rides and handles. I went with a, a ribbed Avon straight tread front tire, uh, of course Fort Gators. Took the front end assembly apart and painted the lower fork legs and the upper sliders black to kind of blend it with the frame and give it that 60s appeal. Got rid of the big gaudy rubber, you know, big hockey pucks out here on pedestals and and uh, kind of made a uh, an, an early style gauge mount for so I could mount the gauges together and, and close. Uh, of course, everything still works. Hooked right back up, lights up just fine. Put the number nine flat track bars on it, which I personally really like. Um, put the monkey's eyebrow badges on it, as opposed to the stock 74s. I don't care for those. I like that style badge. There was a little, a little shallow ding in that gas tank, and that badge kind of, kind of hid that. That was the only damage to that tank. Um, Still running the uh, Amel 928s. I love these carburetors. Uh, put the uh, perforated air cleaners on it like the late 60s style. Um, and the late 60s style fiberglass, not the cheap plastic, but the fiberglass, uh, the heavy fiberglass uh, side covers on it. Cocktail shakers sound awesome. Shoulder shocks giving it the old look. Um, still got the stock grab rail on it. And I got rid of the big gaudy tail light assembly and put the 67 style tail light assembly on it. Uh, and just running a Dunlop K70 style original back tire. But uh, anyway, it's just a it's just a great bike. Um, the motor is real good and tight, wraps out real crisp. Um, you know, it's just a it's a survivor um, oil and frame model, obviously. But. Uh, the, the thing I like about this paint is it's a really pretty color, and the white is is kind of crackling a little bit, um, where it's got some age and some sun to it. But uh, I really like the the look of that that paint. But um, hey, let's fire it up. Obviously, this is an ice cold ice cold start. I have not started this bike today at all. Just rolled it out of the garage, so we're gonna take our chances. Um, of course, the headlight, high beam, low beam, everything works. Tail light, brake light, so on. But uh, I went ahead and turned the pet cocks on. And take a little, little bit. Both sides. Should be good to go. Let's see what happens. Fires right up, just as it usually does. <laughs> uh, you know, great bike, a lot of fun to ride. Th this particular 750 has really got a lot of pull. Um, it actually surprises me at times. It'll it'll pull the front wheel off the ground if you're not careful. A lot of torque, a lot of pep. But uh, anyway, it's a beautiful day out, and thought we'd get the 750 out and kind of show it off a little bit. So uh, thanks for watching, and have a good day.